Well, I guess I started in 2014. I was, uh, I used to be an engineer and I, I worked a job and um, I decided to quit that to hike the Pacific Crest Trail from Mexico to Canada, something I'd wanted to do for a while and um, just decided to go do that. And um, there's kind of a cliche saying in, in that world that through hiking will ruin your life in the best possible way. And I definitely found that to be the case for myself. Um, because after that, I kind of realized that there's really no rules on how you have to live. And I guess I decided to move into my car because um, really you don't need to pay rent in order to have a place to sleep. And I wanted to have free time more than I wanted to have money. And so I figured this is a good low cost solution that lets me be really flexible and travel around. I don't, I don't live in this car 365 days a year. I, uh, I sometimes I'll go on a backpacking trip or hitchhiking for a few months or um, I'll do house sitting or I'll camp outside somewhere but this is definitely my home base that I always come back to and um, yeah I mean it's got downsides like anything else but I definitely wouldn't I wouldn't choose to have to work all the time again just to be able to afford rent so I'd say it's worked out pretty well. Well in my car when I first got it I spent four months traveling with this gal I met and we went down the coast of uh, Oregon and California and we came here two years ago actually to the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous and then drove across the country to Florida, spent some time in the Keys, drove back up, kind of made a loop through Chicago and, and uh, so we did kind of a loop around the country there and I've done other trips in the southwest. I actually moved in my car from um, Portland, Oregon to Moab, Utah where I've been living for um, a little while since about May of last year. In some ways it's been easier and simpler than I expected. It, um, it's been really more versatile too than I expected. I was able to, you know, I, I can range from doing things like camping out here in the desert for a couple weeks to, um, I lived for seven months in inner southeast Portland just parking on the street and never had a problem and it was really cool to be able to just go anywhere and I'm home. Um, so I've really enjoyed a lot of the conveniences of it. Um, I guess some of the the downside is that I find that I'm so, in, it's actually so easy to live in my car that it's really easy to be independent when I'm traveling. And so it's easy for me to just go to the store, get what I need and go out and camp. And it's hard for me to meet people sometimes, which is why it's great for there to be events um, like this one. But um, sometimes if I were to do anything, I'd probably downgrade to a backpack just because when I'm hitchhiking and really out in the elements, then I'm really forced to interact with people and meet people. I got really comfortable living out of a backpack for months on end and from there it was really easy to think about moving into a small car because it's like a tent that drives itself and plays music and so it's really easy and there's plenty of space but if you're coming at it with the attitude that um, this is going to be a small apartment and you're trying to cram everything that you would normally have in a house into a into a van um, I think that'll be a little bit difficult but you know everyone's needs are different so my advice would just be to get out and try it before you decide on anything too permanent. Just go out camping for a while and just really pay attention to, to what you need and how you feel about it and, um, and just try to really customize it to your needs instead of following what, what people recommend all the time.